When did you feel it broke for you and all of a sudden audiences were there and bigger? What, what, and what do you think made the difference? What, what, well, I kind of felt like I broke a few times. I kept thinking I broke and then kept going down. What you start to learn is that you get, hey, I got it on Letterman. Nobody cares. <laughs> I got on Letterman again. That's not, didn't mean anything anymore. <laughs> you know, all I, got, I got to be on uh, Conan. It's not that interesting anymore. And all these things keep happening, like, oh, you know, and you just keep, I got to direct a movie. Everybody hated it. <laughs> all this stuff. So if the time in between is what defines you, you know, you know. But uh, I guess when I, when I started doing bits about my kids. Yes, that, that connected with people in a big way. Yeah, and then I did an HBO half hour and then Lucky Louie. Mm -hmm. Lucky Louie felt like this is a shot, but I was old enough to know it's not. What happened on that show that didn't work? Well, I, I really, um, I decided uh, there's one, there were ways to do the show that it would definitely succeed, and there's ways to do the show that I really wanted to try mm -hmm. that was likely to kill it. Mm -hmm. And I took that road <laughs> because it was more fun, and I didn't mind if it didn't work anymore. It's like kind of the opposite, it's a counterintuitive thing that the more times you go up and then down, you start to go, this is all a big jag off. I'm, you know, do what you want to do. B because you don't have a choice anyway. No, and you're not going to probably get to where you imagined you might. Yes. It's more fun to do it your way when you fail and when you succeed. I, I agree with that. You know? And also, failing ain't that bad. That's what I mostly learned. When I did, a Pootie Tang was the highest profile project I'd ever done. That was a movie, right? It was yep. a movie, and it got killed really hard. The critics d destroyed it, uh -huh. and it was humiliating. It was the worst, and I was told by my agent, um, I, you'll never work in movies. Like, my agents never say bad news. My agent no. said, I can never get you any more work. <laughs> And I was like, fuck, wow. That's tough. That's intense. So I went on the road doing clubs. And after a month of feeling kind of bad about what happened, I didn't care anymore. <laughs>